So I hinted at this in the spin move video and now today's video is all about the journal slash hurdle. Now, what is a journal? Well, a journal is called, a, it's kind of like a juke hurdle and I'm gonna show you it in a second and I'm gonna do my best to explain how to actually get the it to activate and obviously the downside of it is and it is more advanced because the downside of it is if you accidentally do a regular hurdle and you get hit sticked high you're probably going to fumble and if you do a journal and you get hit sticked in the middle of a journal a lot of times you actually will fumble so you have to be really careful with this move but it is super powerful and is way better than a spin move in this sort of spin move type situations and there are situations where you do a regular hurdle. I'm not gonna try to show you that against the computer because it's hard to get them to cut stick, but it's basically when your opponent is going for a lot of cut sticks, they're trying to, which is down. If you look at the controller on the screen, it's down on the uh, the right stick. If they're going for a lot of cut sticks, trying to hit your legs, that's when you can hit um, a straight hurdle. But we're gonna go over to journal today. And that's, that's what you don't want. So when you get hit like that in game, there's a lot of times where that's gonna end up in a fumble, right? So that's that's a journal, and then you can kind of chain it with a, with a juke. And that's a kind of similar situation as we were talking about before, where you would spin, but you get by so, many, so much more space with that journal, okay? So I got that number six chasing, but I also am able to journal out of two people and then all i need to do is hit one juke and I, honestly if i waited a split second longer i probably would have been out of there that's just on me but today's video is about the journal so so essentially what i'm doing is i'm kind of flicking the left stick and make sure you're rewinding and looking at it slowly what i'm doing with my left stick um, and there you go. There's an example of a fumble. So I'm just like, I'm journaling and you know, this, that's an example of why you shouldn't just recklessly journal no matter what, um, cause there will be fumbles, but look at what I'm doing with my left stick. Like I said, and you can out journal and stuff. Look at what I'm doing with my left stick. I'm kind of flicking it in the direction that I want to journal because if I don't do that, then I will end up just doing a regular hurdle and I'll show you that in a second. So I'll show you right now what happens if you don't kind of flick the left stick. You just kind of jump up. So you, right as you're about to press Y or right as you're pressing Y, you want to flick that left stick where you want to go. And then he'll, he'll start journaling. And that's kind of like this little jump to the side move that kind of, you saw it in the replay, dumbs out the defenders and gets you upfield quickly when you're, when you're moving laterally. And that's essentially exactly what a spin move is supposed to do but it's, it's a more aggressive move and it will allow you to, it'll allow you to um, have a higher win rate on those, those uh, juking, those journal situations. Like right there, I probably would have juked, but um, it's all good. I'm just trying to show you this, this journal. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna have a video putting it all together in the, in the, uh, in the future. But um, yeah, and that's, that's a little out journal. It just dumbs out the defenders. And if you don't get hit sticked in it, it's it's so powerful. So essentially, I like to call this, I'd like to uh, explain this as a, the same situation as a spin, except the spin is very conservative, whereas a journal is very aggressive. So if you're in a situation where you really, really don't want to fumble, maybe just use the spin. If you're in a situation where you're just balling and you're trying to, um, you know, really gain yards and you feel confident in your ability, well then use a journal, right? So that's essentially what today's video is about. It's about the journal and I keep showing you how to do it. I'm not necessarily doing it in situations where I should do it, like right there. I wouldn't do it in that situation. I've already showed you that. I'm just showing you how I'm consistently doing it on the controller, okay? So you need to make sure that you're looking at my controller while I was talking slow it down if you need to just so you know exactly what i'm doing with my stick to um to to actually initiate the journal animation and get up the field because it's very powerful before i <laughs> so you know a little explanation moment before i actually learned how to do the powerful juke i only knew how to do the journal so i knew how to ju do the journal first um and then learned you know this year or maybe it was even last year as well I, I don't really remember which year it was but you have to take off the turbo and 
you know, juke without turbo. So, and actually with this, this one, you can actually jurtle with the turbo. It doesn't really matter. It gives you the same animation. So this is the one thing that if you want to spam turbo, uh, you're good to do that. So there you go, guys. That's the jurtle. Try it out. Practice it. Let me know how it's going for you. Again, try to avoid taking hit sticks with it. So get really good with it and practice before you take it into a real game. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Make sure you head over to themadacademy.com. Get signed up for your first course today. It will take your Madden game to the next level, guaranteed. But like I said, I'm getting out of here. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, peace.